Well, okay then, Bob. What I'm going to show you now uh, is the drilling open um, of a basic five lever mortise lock. Um, this particular lock is a Chubb 3U114, but the same technique applies for any type of deadlock that you drill. What I'll be doing first, uh, the first part of this is going to be showing you how to drill uh, from a left mounted point of view and we'll be drilling for the gate, i.e. to non-destructively open the lock. Okay, the first thing before we even start, one thing you always need to do when you drill a lock is eye protection. Okay, don't ever drill without wearing eye protection because uh, God forbid something could break off um, and you'll end up blind. Okay, so always wear eye protection. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do on this lock is take my measurement for my drill point, and as I say, in this case, we're going for the gate uh, for a non destructive opening. And on a Chubb 3U114, the actual drill point for this is going to be 17mm up from the top centre of the keyway. So 17mm. Okay, let's make sure I'm at the top. 17mm there. And 5mm in towards the bolt. 5mm in towards the bolt. Okay, so that gives me my drill point. Okay, that's where I'm going to be drilling there. And in this case, what I'm going to be using is an 8mm drill bit. And um, the reason that I'm using an 8mm is just so it gives you a bit more insight into the lock. Uh, most of the time, uh, I'd use probably around a 4mm. Okay, because it just um, means that you wouldn't be able to see as much. So I'm going to use an 8mm in this case. A lot of locksmiths anyway use 8mm just as a matter of course. Okay, so the first thing anyway, I've now got my drill point. First thing I need to do uh, is just centre punch that. And although this has got a hard plate on it, it will still centre uh, punch. Okay, it's just to give me a guide for my drill bit. So... Okay, it's just knocking it out. Okay, so that's giving me a starting point for the drill bit. Okay, you can see it just, it just takes off the paint. Okay, so what I'm going to be using first uh, is an 8mm hard plate bit. Okay, and when we drill, uh, there's always a rule that I use, which is drill, stop, check, drill, stop, check. Because all I'm, I'm looking to do at first is just drill through the hard plate with the hard plate drill bit. What I don't want to do is drill through the lock case into the guts of the lock. So the hard plate bit is literally just going to get um, me through the actual hard plate. Okay, so I'm just going to start this off. I've got my eye protection on. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just so you can see a bit more there. Okay, so to start this off nice and straight, nice and slow at first. Okay, so you can see I'm just beginning to cut through there. Okay, just make sure the drill bit's nice and tight. Okay. So all the time, drill nice and square and a good firm grip. Okay, just check again. Okay, and what I can now see is just a little ring beginning to form, and that's just where I'm going through the hard plate. Check again, I'm almost through. Okay, so that's me just about through the, the actual hard plate. Just give it a touch more. Okay, so that's going to give me now enough room to swap over for a basic HSS bit. Okay, it's just swapping over for an 8mm HSS bit. And now what I'm going to do with this is just continue to drill through until I'm through the lock case and what I'll probably see is some brass in there. 
Okay, again, I'm going to drill, stop, check. Okay, so I'm just beginning to get through the lock case. And I can just see the brass of the first le lever. So, nice and slowly. Again, check. Okay, I can just see the edge of the stump as well. Okay, so that's the point that I'm going to stop. Okay, and what I can basically see now is the first lever in the lock and I can see the edge of the stump, which is absolutely ideal for what I want. And naturally, because the shape of an HSS bit, i.e. how it's got a, po a pointed tip, naturally it's going to slightly concave and you're going to slightly drill into the first lever in the lock. But as long as you don't drill into the guts of the lock, that's fine. If you do, you, like, you'll actually start to rip the guts of the lock apart, you usually end up with a seized lock. That's as far as you drill. Just so you can see exactly what I can see there, I'm just going to zoom in a bit. And what you'll see is the first lever in the lock. And you can just see, oh, slightly out of focus, you can just see the actual edge of the stamp, i.e. the anti-pick. Okay, and you can just see the false, uh, a false fence. Just there. So I'll just get rid of any burr. Just zoom out a bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, just using a basic little pick wire, uh, pick wire. What I'm going to do is insert that into the cur into the curtain wheel. Turn, and what I can do, you can see, it's lifting the first lever in the lock. So when I turn that, what you'll see. It's just lift in there. Okay, so what I'm going to basically do now is just get another piece of pick, uh, pick uh, stainless steel. And as I progress through, I can just manipulate my way through the actual pack. And what I'm doing all the time is just lifting one lever at a time. So I can get that pick wire that bit of spring still all the way through just there so now I can lift out all the pack clear start apply tension onto the bulb bit of manipulation oh just let one drop there just lift that again just making sure I'm through all the pack One of the back there that I need to lift clear. <laughs> so I just slightly got the, cam the camera in the way, so it's a little bit hard to see. What I could use as well is just a little thin screwdriver for this as well if I wanted to. That's going to start to pass through in a second. Just making sure any bits of burr are out of the way. Just got one lever at the back. It's been a bit of a sod. There you go. And it starts to pass through. Okay, you can see the stump passing through. Just zoom out. And bolt retracts. Okay, that took a little bit uh, time, so I couldn't get in front of the lock. Uh, well, that's my excuse anyway. But that is basically drilling for the gates on a left-mounted lock.